Okay, so we're just going to take a look at the heels elevated back squat. Okay, so I'm just using some weight plates here um, to elevate the heels just a little bit. What's going to do is going to increase the available range of motion in the ankle, which means I can keep myself a little bit more upright in that back squat. Generally, it also helps people get a better depth in their squat. Okay, so we're going to use the heels elevated in the back squat as a way of improving the depth in your squat. Okay, and also working more towards the perfect sort of upright back squat as much as we can. Okay, we're never going to be straight up and down in the back squat. We're just trying to work as close as we can get to that, and this will obviously transfer over nicely to some of our Olympic lifting. Okay, not much changes. The heels are up. We still want to have the toes just 10, 15 degrees turned out. We're pulling down on the bar, okay, keeping nice and tight. I shouldn't see a bend in the wrist. We're trying to knock, lock the little pinky finger over the bar and be pulling down on the bar so that we're nice and strong through our lats. We can feel them working nice and tight, okay? From this position, butt's nice and tight. We break the knees, and then we start to come down, pushing the knees out nice and strong. Maintain a neutral head position, okay? And then just fire back up, extending the hips all the way at to the top, okay, squeezing the quads nice and strong in those movements.